You arrive to find a six-year-old child and his mother waiting for you in the playground area. The child has an obvious deformity on the right forearm. The mother tells you he fell off the monkey bars, landing on his right arm. She states that he did not hit his head or lose consciousness. And your dispatch info is, you are dispatched to the local YMCA for a child who has been injured. Okay, so proper PPE. Um, I'm guessing my scene is safe. Yes. Okay, and me- mechanism of injury is fell from the monkey bars. Um, number of patients is one. I'm not going to... I do not need additional ALS at this time, and I'm not con- going to consider C-spine. Um, okay. My general general impression of the patient is deformity to the, you said, left arm? To the right arm. To the right arm. Um, uh, is the patient up and talking to me? Um, he is just kind of sitting there. He states that his arm hurts. Okay, so he is responsive. His chief complaint is that his arm hurts. Um, since he's talking to me, I'm guessing he has an open airway. Um, so he's not going to need a adjunct, um, response. His breathing. Is there adequate chest rise and fall? Yes. Um, how about SpO2? 99%. 99%. Um, I don't think he's going to need oxygen. Just because he doesn't seem too upset at this time. Um, is there any... Injuries that could be concerning to his airway? Um, none noted. Okay, on to circulation. If I check his pulse, is it, like, rapid? Strong, regular, and equal. Strong, regular, and equal. Um, how's his skin look? Pink, warm, and dry. Okay. Um, and is his arm... Is there any bleeding? No. Okay, and I am going to move him to my cot, and I'm going to cover him up and get him comfortable. I don't think he's in shock at this time, but you never know. The pain could get up there, but no oxygen right now. And then we're just going to transport... Um, and then we'll move on to vitals. So what's his blood pressure? Blood pressure is, oh, let me find it. Blood pressure is 116 over 86. Okay. And then what's his pulse rate? 108. 108. And respiration rate? 24. And then if I oscillate his lungs... If you oscillate his lungs, um, they're clear. Clear. Good deal. And then sample. He fell off the monkey bars and hurt his arm. Is there any allergies? No. Um, is he on any medication? No. And is there any past medical history that I need to know? No. Um. Last oral intake? He ate breakfast earlier today. Okay, and then his arm hurts, and he fell from the monkey bars, so. And then, okay, moving on to secondary. If I palpate his head, am I finding anything? Sorry, uh, no injuries. Okay, and then if I look in his eyes, are they... Pearl? Yes. And then, is there, if I look at his nose and ears and mouth and eyes, is there any CSF or bleeding? No. 
Okay, and then onto his neck. Is there anything with his cervical spine? Nope. Um, JVD? No JVD. And tracheal shift? Midline. Okay. And then onto his chest, if I palpate his chest? Um, no injury noted. Okay, and I oscillated it earlier. And then his belly, is it soft and non-tender? Yep, soft and non-tender in all four quadrants. Okay, and how's his pelvis? Stable. And genitalia? No genital injury. Okay, and then down to his legs, if I palpate them, do I find anything? Um, no injuries. Okay, and how, if I have him press on my hand with his foot? PMS noted in okay. all four extremities. Okay, so his arms as well, and then just that right arm has some pain because it's possibly broken. Yes. Okay. And then, if we get him on his back, is there any pain in his back and buttocks? No injuries noted. Okay, good deal. And then, we'll get him on the way to the hospital, and we'll check his vitals every five to ten minutes. And I'm going to splint his right arm just with a sling and a swath, probably. Okay. Um. Um. So. Um. Oh, is there any secondary wounds? None noted. Okay. I think that is everything. Okay.